Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we're going to talk about the theme of the pinball machine. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing people ask me when I say I'm building a homebrew pinball machine is not what hardware do you use, what software do you use, how are you going to cut the wood, how are you going to do this, how are you going to do that. They all want to know what theme it is and up until now I genuinely didn't have a theme in my head. I had a list of about 20 on my phone. I've still got a list here which I'll go through in a second. Um, but I haven't decided on a theme and I did that intentionally because I wanted to focus on the hardware and everything else first of all. I want to get my head around how to build it first of all and then we get into the theme. So I've got a little bit of progress there with some of the hardware. I've got a box of bits and pieces in front of me off of a, another video that I'm going to build in in the background. So I'm going to do that video over the next couple of days and I'll put that one out soon. But I'm now at the point where I want to get into a theme because I've got a couple of weeks ahead of me where I'm going to be away for work. I could start doing artwork, I could start doing some of the, the graphics and other things, maybe even some of the Mission Pinball framework, which is the software that powers the custom build pinball machines. I can do a little bit of that on the laptop while I'm away, so it gives me a little project to do when I'm away from the garage and doing things out there. So I'll run through a couple of the games and I'll run through, uh, I'll put over here in a second, the way I categorise pinball machines. So to me, a pinball is more about the gameplay and the system that is in there and everything else, how it plays, how it interacts. But the theme's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because the theme is in the arcades is what attracts you to it. So if you're into, um, let's use a recent example, Deadpool, and you see a pinball machine in an arcade, which is Deadpool, you're more likely to put a pound in that than you are one that you don't like the theme of. So in the arcades, I totally get why a theme is really important. On a homebrew, it's slightly different. And some of the most successful pinball machines are based on what I would say is like a a custom build so it's not even based on a real theme so my getaway high speed 2 getaway it's not based on a film it may be based on multiple police chase type films but it's not actually based on an actual film and it's based on just being built from a pinball machine as a theme so i've broken down the theme of pinballs into four different categories so i think they're based on film tv and games so your usual franchises you're going to get from uh, the Adams Family right the way through to Deadpool in the, in the recent ones. There's a couple of game based ones and other things like that so based on franchises from TV series like The Simpsons, and Turtles and everything else like that. Um, then I think you've got your Dad Rock era which I'll, I'll class as ACDC, Metallica. People are probably cringing now when I'm calling it Dad Rock but it is Dad Rock. Even my getaway has got um, uh, ZZ Top is the soundtrack on it. I wouldn't class it as a Dad Rock game, it's more of a custom game and we'll get onto that category in a minute. But Dad Rock era I think is another category of pinball machines and pinball themes that has been around for a long time and is still going. So the recent Guns N' Roses by Jersey Jack is a really good example of a Dad Rock game. I think anything that has got a good soundtrack and you can put money into, you're getting the music playing out of it, is part of the attraction of playing that game. So that's another category I think. Then you've got your custom, so let's go to custom next. So custom is your things like your getaways, your fishtails, all of those kinds of games which haven't been based on the film or maybe loosely based on the film. That one I showed from Pinfest the other week, uh, I can't remember what it was called, Golden Wing or something like that. It was clearly based on Top Gun, but um, we'll put that in a custom bucket as well because I think it, it wasn't truly based on the film or TV series or music or anything else. It was just a custom build. Uh, things like Arabian Nights I think is a custom uh, theme I don't think it's based on a film or anything else I know that one again at Pinfest was themed into Aladdin afterwards maybe that was the theme that they were originally thinking of um, then you've got loads and loads of others which are out there some of the most popular pinballs are not based on uh, existing material out there they're based on totally made up items so personally for me I wanted to include at least one custom theme for me and I'll talk about that in a minute because I think it's quite a nice theme maybe it won't go ahead maybe it will um, I got an idea for the follow-on theme from that as well but let's let's not run before I can walk as, as I'm getting told on forums and things like that um, we'll take this one step at a time so the final category it's a bit of a loose one because it could go into custom it could go into another area possibly but that's brands and I think brands sums it up quite well so it's things like no fear no fear based on the adrenaline sports type of area um, Corvette, Ford Corvette and there's loads of um, different car and other brand ones I think which exist out there so that's my fourth category and I think I don't really want to touch on a brand type area it's too dodgy doing a homebrew pinball into a theme that is existing of somebody's franchise is always going to be a little bit on the 
the, the iffy side. If it's for your personal use and everything else, I don't think you're going to get into any copyright claims or anything else. If you're looking to sell it and looking to make profit from it, then obviously that's a different case. But there's loads and loads of people who've done theme, film based and music based ones in the past, and I don't think that's going to be an issue. So let's talk about some of the themes I discounted before we go into the final four. I've got a list on my phone. Flight of the Navigator was on there. Dave from Retro Games Play badly suggested that one um, as well in one of the comments. Really great theme, and I think you could have some fun with the, the little monster that hangs upside down and monster alien that hangs upside down and all of those kind of things. Um, and it's got a really cool voice. I think it was P.E. Herman that did the, the voice of the navigator back then, wasn't it? So that was on there. Lost Boys was on there, one of my greatest films of all time. I love The Lost Boys. Put that on there. Willow, which is coming to TV very soon, so I didn't want to really scratch on that area. Um, really great film as well, and they're just doing a new TV series. My dog's here and she wants to say hello. Hello. Then I thought of going down dad rock type era and doing a slightly different twist on this. So I came up with a jukebox idea. So rather than sticking to one band, maybe going down the now through, uh, route and go into a 90s rock jukebox or something like that, where you could select your track and go through a couple of different tracks and different tracks and lock them and different gameplay. So I thought that could have been quite cool. Garbage Pail Kids, based on a, a product rather than a, a game or a film. Well, it did have a film, but wasn't really known for that. I thought Garbage Pail Kids could have been quite cool. The graphics and everything else would have made a really cool looking pinball. Then I thought some couple of music ones. You never see a rap based music one. So I thought whether you could do an Eminem or a Dr. Dre or whether you wanted to go down the route of NWA into the 80s, 90s rap and things like that. Um, so there's loads of ideas you could do out there. But let's talk about the final four because I didn't manage to narrow it down and I want your help to pick me a pinball theme out of these final four. So, okay, so let's discuss the four themes. So I've got four themes ahead of me and I genuinely do not mind which one it's going to be. I've really settled on all four of these themes. I think they've all got their merits. They all got their ideas around them. Some are totally different to others. People are going to have their personal interests. I would be comfortable building all four of these. If I had time and money, I'd build all four of them. But let's take one at a time. They, I'll go through them individually. And then all I want you to do is to comment down below. Let me know which theme you would pick or you think I should pick. And the one with the most votes by, let's call it the 15th of October, we'll go with and we'll use that as our theme going forward. I've got a couple of weeks, as I said, away not long after that, so I can start working on graphics and everything else. So yeah, it'd be really interesting just to see and use that as a, a little bit of a base and my offline project for the next couple of weeks as well. So I'm gonna show you some graphics of mock-ups of pinball machines now in a second to show you each of the ideas, each of the themes, but they are just mock-ups. They're not indicative of what the final one will look like. They just simply think I've thrown together really quickly just to show you what it could potentially look like. And then we'll go from there once we've got a theme. One. Okay, so option number one is a, a classic 80s film uh, series. So the, I say I'll call it a series, there's two films. Uh, Short Circuit 1, Short Circuit 2. They didn't really go creative on the titles of those, but absolutely amazing films. And I loved Johnny Five, I loved the, the films of the, around these when I was growing up. And I watched Short Circuit again the other night. Absolutely love them. And I think the amount of one-liners in there are absolutely amazing. I got loads of ideas I could put in there for themes in the pinball machine itself um, from both Short Circuit 1 and 2. Clips that we can take out of the movies, put on the display. Um, there's loads in there, loads of sound bites and everything else, so it's a really cool theme. I think the opportunities we're doing something like Short Circuit are huge. We could even get into doing the back box with a 3D printed version of Johnny Five's head, get him moving with servos and do all these other cool things. And there's some really cool YouTube videos out there of people who made full size Johnny Fives and take him to expos and things like that. I'm not going to go that far, but maybe we could incorporate some of those elements into the pinball machine if we wanted to go down that route. So that's option number one, and I think it's a really cool option, but don't make your mind up yet. Let's have a look at option number two. Two! Okay, so option number two is Gremlins, another classic 80s uh, TV film franchise, and I think, again, I'd mix it with the different films and not keep it just to the first one. I think there's an opportunity here to use clips and the different Gremlins from the different films, keeping with, obviously, you would play as... Um, either Billy or whether you play as Gizmo, I don't know. We'll, we'll do a, a bit of gameplay thinking if we get into using this theme. But yeah, there's a really cool option here. There's loads of great sound bites for the films. Loads of great characters we can use in a pinball theme. So if you like Gremlins and you think that's a really good theme, obviously wait till the end of the video once you've seen all four options. But keep that in mind and maybe stick that down as you comment down below. Again, I'm really happy if I was doing a Gremlins based theme. I've seen one that somebody done an old EM version of a pinball machine and redone that into a Gremlins theme, um, but I've not really seen anyone with a modern version of it. I think it's got potential of being a really good theme, but 
wait until you see the other two and then we'll make a call right at the end of the video on which one to vote for. Three! So option number three, this one is a bit of an obvious one for me and I, I, I imagine it's probably obvious for a lot of people and I've seen somebody do a retheme on this theme previously so they didn't do a full build, they've taken another cabinet and I think they've rethemed it and painted it. Um, done a little bit of a job to make it look like this film and it's Labyrinth and Labyrinth is one of those films another one of those films I've I think I've got all of these films over here on VHS so that gives you a little bit of how how comfortable I am with going to these films they're all films that I grew up with and Labyrinth is no exception to that it's a absolute amazing film it's one that we watch probably twice a year and it's just classic can you imagine the Davy Bowie soundtrack in there You've got the labyrinth, the maze itself. You've got some really cool characters from uh, the snail right the way to Ludo. And uh, you've got the bog of eternal stench. You've got loads of things in there that I think could be really cool from a pinball machine perspective. So, yeah, that's another really good theme that I think that we can have a bit of fun with. I don't know around the, the styling of the pinball table and things like that and what kind of toys we could put in there. But it's got quite a few cool options in there, I think. That one's probably my wife's favourite at the moment. I think I've run these four options past her and Labyrinth was the one that she would have picked. So not trying to influence anyone on that. We've got one more theme to talk about in a second, but Labyrinth's a very cool theme and I'd be so totally happy to get on with doing that. I even quite like the artwork that I've done on the mock-up. That you've got the I think it's from the scene when they're all hiding in the cupboard and all the the, the labyrinth trolls and whatever they are are hiding in the cupboard and she's talking outside of it and it's right at the beginning of the film and I think that looks really cool. There's a, a bit of a dark artwork on this on the cabinet side. But I want to have a look at the artwork anyway. I'm going to spend a lot of time getting into the detail, getting some high-res images and things before I get into anything being printed. Let's have a look at the final option before we make a decision. And I think this one's a really cool idea. So let's get on to number four. Four! Okay, so option number four is very different. So those three I would class into your movie, TV and game category. This one is a custom build. So this one is probably... The safest one I could do and it's probably the one that I could do from if I wanted to do multiple and sell them I could do this as a theme going forward. I really like having the idea of having a custom theme because you've got things like Total Nuclear Annihilation that I've mentioned on I think every single pinball video that I've talked about. That went from being a um, idea, a custom build, right the way through to being a commercial build so that's a good idea of what you could do if you do it with a custom build. Maybe I could build it and build a handful of them in the future if I really wanted to get down into that in the future but that's not the plan at the moment I'm not going down that whole haggis pinball route they they had in mind that they wanted to build a custom pinball machine and they wanted to build multiple and make a business out of it and they've done really well out of it and they've done some great games since but that's not my idea here my idea is literally build something for me and something that I can enjoy so the next thing that I want to talk about and I'll put the graphic up now is a Welsh word, obviously I'm from Wales in the UK and the idea around this is it's a Welsh word called Echtho um, and I think that the literal translation is the day before yesterday so if you were talking in conversation I don't think it's ever used in Welsh anymore I don't think it's one of those words that's actually used in day-to-day -day conversations but if you were trying to describe something and you wanted to talk about um, say today is Wednesday but you wanted to talk about the day before yesterday it would be Monday so I really don't know where this word has come from, but there's also the, another word, and I'll have to get this one off my phone, Trenez, and that means the day after tomorrow, I think it is. So I had this idea of doing two two items. It could be that the game I pinball I do now is Echo, which is the day before yesterday. I've got an idea around the theme for that, and then a second one, Trenez, which is the day after tomorrow, I believe. Um, that, that gives me two options, and I base this on um, almost like your your typical alien invasion type of thing so the day before yesterday is almost like a save the planet type of thing a big, maybe even the re revenge from attack from mars or those kind of things where you're trying to save the planet and those ones you've got to try and save paris and new york and things from the aliens this one could be that you're trying to save two days ago the, the planet was under attack and you're trying to save the planet and it's got an alien type theme i've got an idea for using like synth wave type music in this one getting some custom music done custom graphics really going to town on this one and having it almost like an alien attack type of thing so it's almost like the the world is normal at the moment but it's under attack and you've got to try and save the planet from the aliens how that plays then into trenet which is the day after tomorrow could be that this is Two days ago, Echo, two days in the front, uh, Trenet, and that one could be that that one is after the alien track, 
and whether the world has changed and whether it's now more overtaken by aliens and now it's a different type of setup and everything else but I've not gone into the theme on that one too much because I want to focus on the first one if I were to go down this route as a, a theme I think that one could be a really cool one and again as I mentioned most of the pinballs that I've played and loved things like fishtails and uh, other games of like that they are based on themes they're not based on actual movies or anything else and I think this could be a really cool theme for for us to use as a, a basis there's no limitation on what kind of artwork I want to do. I can do my own artwork and I can do my own, uh, get my own music. And I don't think, I'm, I'm partially deaf anyway. I need to uh, get some hearing aids and things at some point. But um, I'm not going to do music myself. That's the one thing I'm really going to limit myself on. I will get somebody else to do music on it. But I'd love a synthwave type track um, or a series of tracks and sound effects and things. Really cool soundtrack, I think, that could really play for the pinball machine. Um, and I think that could be a really cool theme so hopefully you'll agree and maybe you'll vote for that one down below but that's the summary of my four themes that I really want to get across so uh, let's go through them in order short circuit gremlins labyrinth and ecto I think if you're interested in any of those themes if you think any of those themes would make a, a better idea than the other if you've got an idea for something that could really work inside of one of those machines so say for example you you got an idea and you want to work you think that I should work on labyrinth and I should do something from the film that's really funny then please bring that in and put it in the comments down below okay so at the end of the two three week period whatever it is up to the 15th of october we will go through the comments i i don't get a huge amount of comments on here so it's not going to take me hours to count them up um but please do comment down below if you've got an idea around th the theme that i should pick out of those four an item that i could include in the pinball machine that you think would be really cool from the those themes let me know um i'll pick the the winner by majority on the 15th of october and that will set the basis for the next couple of months ahead of me for this project so it really is an input from you and the community and everything else so please let me know in the comments down below which theme you want to pick and we will summarize it up and go ahead with whatever thing that is with whichever the majority is so i've got a couple of things i want to update on in between now and the 15th of october anyway so i'll crack on with those they're not theme based but i think everything from the 15th of october will have that theme in our heads so we can take things forward so what kind of hardware i'm buying what kind of um what color i want to spray paint or have powder coated on the the metal work of the cabinet all of those kinds of things will be informed by the theme going forward so it really does matter from that date onwards what direction we take a lot of this in so so please get voted down below if you're not subscribed already please subscribe and give the video a like as well um, but the most important thing of this one is get commenting because i really want to know everyone's thoughts on what theme to go for and yeah thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next video